Hi there, Director of Photography Alec Watson, and today we're being solution-based. We are fixing stuff with ACDC's 2020 and Focus Stacking. Focus Stacking, this is part two to where we did that video about focus bracketing. The idea was that when I did this food shot for my wife's newsletter, what I came across was that I needed greater depth of field than what my lens would give me. So when I shot at f8, everything was too blurry. This ball was in focus, but this was a spicy protein ball. It's got like chili peppers and stuff in it. And so part of the story, as a photographer, we tell stories, right, was that these are supposed to be hot. When I look at this image shot at f8 uh, for that much depth of field, the, the chili pepper stuff, doesn't look like chili pepper. I like the splash of color, but it's not telling the story properly, right? To fix that, what do we do? Well, we close up the lens. But as I closed up the lens to get the shot, it just wasn't, it wasn't sharp like I wanted it. Didn't pop like I wanted to. Let's go ahead and have a, let's have a close look at that. So when I pull in close at kind of one-to-one, -one, and we look at this, this spice, it's kind of, I don't know, it looks crumbly. If I look at my focused shot, where I actually focused on the spice, man, that looks fantastic. That looks like something you wanna touch or eat. When you're shooting in the sweet spot of your lens, especially in macro, that's where all the sharpness lies. And so when you're shooting things that don't move, a still life like this, we can rack our focus and focus on the things that we wanna be in focus, and then we can use software to stack them. As luck would have it, focus stacking is automatic in ACDC's 2020. Because in the old days, what you had to do was load all your images into, say, Photoshop, put them into layers, create layer masks, and then start erasing things that were out of focus to bring in layers that were in focus. I mean, it all sounds kind of confusing. It was time consuming. So now it's basically an automated function. The one thing that we got to do is, and, and it, it gives it to us in a, a pop-up dialog box, and I'll show it to you, is we've got to shoot, uh, we've got to give them to the software in order to say to the software, okay, this is front, this is middle, and this is back. Now, I shot them in the wrong order, which, you know, isn't great for automation, but it's great for this video because if you came across this problem, you would have the same problem as me. We gotta put them in order. So to do that, super easy in manage mode, I can literally just drag. So there's my front ball in focus. What's my next shot? My next shot has the two middle balls in middle chocolate. So the third shot will be the back piece of chocolate. Perfect. We now have the three layers in order, starting at the first one. For focus stacking, we simply select all three photos. This is so easy. We go up to process and we hit focus stack. This is where the dialog box comes up and says we need to put them in order. Put them in order. Bam, it's now pulling in the three raw images. It's, uh, I'll tell you what it's doing in the background. It's then processing them to an editable, oh, I can't say that, uh, a format that it can edit in and then it's going to blend the images and put the sharp areas all together, all automated. It's gonna align them. It makes it super easy. Then we got the choice of make, outputting it in a file format that we want and giving it a name. We will call this Deep Focus Protein Balls. And save. Bam, comes up at the end. Wow, tack sharp. Let's grab our F22 image, which was the best we could do in camera. When we're pulled back and we're looking at it like this, uh, I can see a little bit of difference. Probably so can you. Not a t it's not that dramatic. I tell you what, if we go into view mode, there we go. We're looking at a really sharp uh, front ball, which was our front focused one. Then we move into the spices, the chocolate, it looks like textures that you want to touch and taste, right? If I switch to the F22 version, it's just kind of a blurry mess uh, in comparison. There is no comparison between the images shot at F8 when they're stacked together and an F22 version. And that, my friends, is what focus stacking is all about. You can create this, you can create shots like for macro, but you can also take this out 
and do scenics. You know what? We'll do a video on that sometime where I shoot a scenic where we've got, we want deep depth of field, but we've got foreground that we want to have in focus. This is a great technique for doing that as well. It's a great technique for things that don't move. Focus stacking. If you got something out of this video, please click like. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, we're sending them out weekly and we're sending them out in multiple parts. Click the blue little bell, you'll be notified uh, when you subscribe. That would be awesome. I'd love to have you along. Please fire questions my way. Put them in the comment section. I'm monitoring that. I'm looking for things that I can answer for you. Or if you've got video ideas where you'd like to know how something works or know how to shoot something or at least my approach to doing it, I would be happy to share. In the meantime, do like I do. Take your camera, get out, take some photos and make the world a better and more beautiful place.